the Humvees don't have distance LODs at all. And basically with how armor handles rendering and client side uh, simulation at the moment, you're going to have a fun time. Wait, do they not have any LODs for their Humvees? No, no, no distance LODs. Yeah. Since I was curious, I did a little team speak count. There are apparently around 25 countries being represented right now. Uh -oh. oh, nice. Go Earth. America Where being the greatest, obviously. <laughs> any to be fair, fair, in regards to the whole distance LODs, it down. seems to be a problem as a whole through the entire Armour 3 modding community. A lot of people just seem to be just doing uh, the first one. That... That's pretty dumb. So you have to separately... So hold on. You he basically even... make like you basically make like five. Uh, typically, you make like five separate lots, and then uh, you've got like a couple of others like your memory point geometry, shadow, and so forth. A lot of people are just making the first one, which is the highest res one, and they're not even making second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay. The game only has one. User disconnected from your channel. Yeah, and our HSs are already like really high res. There's some stuff they know, and they just don't need to. It could also be potentially worse because we're using RHS weapons as well. Who is, we shall uh, find out. Let's say this is a test as much as a game at the same time. We can't Who's guarantee that the performance will be great. After this, though, we will, well, should shift over to you know that 100 player TVT or lower player TVT, depending on how many people leave. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Delta check poke. Too bad okay. we're over the numbers for uh, Rahmadi Rambul, right? Is it broken? No, I think we are too many. Yeah, we are. It's uh, 75 people to get Rahmadi Rambul. Yeah, there are at least one in the channel. Vanilla 556 ammo compatible with RHS weapons now? Nope. Mm -hmm. It's always been. Oh. We. I wasn't able to ever put an RHS 556 in vanilla. It doesn't no, go back. the other way around. Seems legit. Just to double check this, we have no shore ed assets whatsoever. In the bottles? No. 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 Yes, M2. Is there M2 on the... Yeah. Mark 19. Best AA weapon available. <laughs> and we're even. Hey, Zoom worker, you don't want both those radios you have since I'm your RTO. Uh, I don't have an extra 148. You have a 148 and a 117. Does the Overlord not have a long range? He has a 148. Okay, then we're great. Well, I just want to know if you needed both of those, or if you wanted your RTO with both radios instead. Uh, I'll get to the signal part in a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Delta, check poke, please. I've seen your poke. Thank you. Is the 117 uh, majorly it's different to the 117 in Armour 2? Does it still work pretty much the same? No. They have a it's, different it's, interface. Yeah, the interface is similar to the 152. You don't have to go into the interface or to really use it. Okay. The power is already boosted to 20 watts by default now. Hey, uh. Sound 20, muted. You, um. It's like 20 kilowatts. Audio. 20 watts. Uh, I'm guessing there's no speaker option on the 117. Sound muted. Uh, people, no, it's um, it's a tactical community in that sense, so it's um, proper stuff. You'll hear the briefing. We uh, look at the map, listen to the brief, go in game, and execute it. Sound resumed. Just me, Danny. AC. Okay. There's currently who's the uh, the two, two platoon sergeant and two RTO. Yep. Hey, John, are you including hey, Janus? With the 117, you'd be including HF and SACOM. Is Holmes. I will be aesthetic. Yes, Not right now. It'll also have data and text messaging, don't worry. Yes. Do I have to pay extra for long distance calling? How do you think we're going to do microtransactions in Acre? 
be able to get that trust. Oh, so that's how impulses get And Jake, what's the data plan rates? Too much. Too little. Just wait until they implement we'll be charged the, by the uh, mobile phones. <laughs> what about Angry Birds? Ago. Angry Birds? Dialogue. 3G or 4G? But does it have better connectivity than free? One G. Well, will there be? I think that'll be down to digital cell phone. The mission maker will have to put down a uh, cell phone tower relay. If they don't, you'll have poor reception. Oh, uh, what company? AT and T. But I imagine he'll. I imagine he'll only place it in an area to where it'll basically cover like, a tiny bit of the map. And you yeah, have to pay you'll, more you'll to have get to more. Be on the highway to get any signals. Yeah. Forget AO scripts. Just do that. <laughs> that would keep people where they're supposed to be. You get that incognito? Hold on, I'm in, I'm in a tunnel. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. There are no tunnels like, in our like phones from, for Aka. Who is 2 4? He says. Okay. JB, your first quad, right? Correct. Well, I'm one one to be specific. Yeah. yeah. Whoever's doing this, uh, Marcus, for one platoon, do you want me to finish it off because I've got everyone written down? Uh, it's up to you. I'm I'm looking at the thing, so. I'll just sit. So, have I completely mis-overlooked something in the briefing, but is there also exactly no response time on the Heinz? Apparently. Shit, son. Oh, I remember Incog talking about this mission. Drive faster. N no, he was questioning whether or not you could shoot through the front panel of a BTR with 556. <laughs> <laughs> That was boasting well for the mission. It was it was fifty cal. Thank you. I'd say no, fifty maybe. No, I it works after like yeah, you You should be able to kill a BTR with the fifty, at least the crew. Does it really? You can. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah. can at least destroy B the tires. Well, well, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah BTR well. is not well armored. <laughs> well, I know it's not well armored. I know it's a piece of shit in real life. It's just does that translate to armor? Yes. yes. Yeah, dude. Yes. Fifty rips right through it. All right, so that's all. Problem is, there can oh, yeah, that's right. right through you as well. We had that that one incident where we were using we the cover shot and it cut it. through. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Us. Actually, their cannon rips through you better than your cannon rips through them. Exactly. Of course. Exactly. Exactly. That's why we have like twelve, though. Yeah. It's we like have twelve. Uh, Shermans and tigers public. keep throwing them at throwing them us at them <laughs> until we win. Yeah. But you mean stationary. tigers and Abrams headshot, right? <laughs> oh God, the trigger. <laughs> All right. Um, first platoon lead, Herbie. You here, Herbie? Headshot. You here? Yep. yep. Fantastic. Head. Fantastic. All right. So you've already read the situation. We got an airborne infantry company supported by two times enemy Mi-24 Hind in our AO. They have, uh, for some reason, BTR 80s. As yeah, BTR 80s. And obviously the two Heinz. They're dispositioned in platoon strength in Hagen and Schlachte, as well as with four LPOPs that we already have identified south of Schlachte. Um, mission: We will clear both uh, Schlachte and Hagen. The initial phase of the mission will be seizing and clearing the town of Schlachte. Uh, so that's how far I'll plan for now, because um, we'll obviously have to. We consolidate and schlock to orient northwards, and then uh, conduct the second assault. Um, execution. My intent is that we conclude the uh, recombinant inspections in Bochwedel, our current location. Uh, we conduct a road march to the attack position right on the line of, uh, on the flot, or whatever that is. Um, User get the platoons ready, um, cross the Aldi. Second platoon will occupy the area of vicinity SBF Sierra in order to uh, provide support by fire for the maneuver of first platoon, which will maneuver via DOA red and attack to seize objective Sims, vicinity of 
than the Python may LTO be. Second platoon will subsequently move up through DOA Red as well under the cover of first platoon. And then we will attack down DOA Yellow with second platoon, first platoon first providing overwatch and then uh, pushing in behind them. Then we will push into the town. I will likely have the so second platoon being the first one hitting the town, they'll uh, take objective Willis and then I'll push uh, first platoon into objective Freeman. They clear online northwards into the town. First platoon clears us on the western edge of town and we face uh, defensive towards the north, consolidate and then plan the final attack on the Hagen. Um, so here the first task for the platoons are second platoon, support by fire in order to enable clearing of sims, first platoon, attack and clear objective sims. I designated three primary target reference points for the purpose of this mission, so that should allow us to easily shift fires onto objective sims. And uh, the crucial part here will be obviously, I don't know how reactive the enemy BTRs are, I don't know how quickly the MI-24s are going to be here, both of which are major problem causers with the armament we have. Um, my intent is obviously we utilize the um, the Mark 19s and M2s to mass fire onto both helicopters and the BTRs, um, and hopefully defeat them through that. Because I don't think we have any long range AT assets, do we? Not to Strong. mention AA. Yeah, we have the straw. So. Second platoon, you have your full weapon squad with you, right? So make sure you place that in the most uh, advantageous position. Uh, for, further, the second platoon will get all the Mark 19s for the initial phase of the mission. So you will get four Mark 19s, four M2s. The first platoon gets eight M2s. Um, so first platoon, I suggest for your attack, you dismount your vehicle somewhere directly north of the LD or whatever or leave them on the attack position. Uh, obviously second platoon should make ample use of the vehicles in their position. Make sure you push some infantry in there before you push the vehicles in. We don't know what there is on the LPOPs. Mm -hmm. So make sure you reconnoiter that. Same thing for first platoon. Make sure you reconnoiter uh, the area in your DOA. Um, that said, I'm not going to give any further detail. Uh, command and control, or sustainment. I'll have my uh, company medic initially at the attack position then somewhere between 2nd and 1st platoon, vicinity north of the LD, uh, so r right around where the 1 platoon hold marker is, a little north of that probably. Um, so make sure you evacuate, make sure you first treat casualties on the platoon level and when that fails we'll evacuate them. To the company CCP, command and control, I'm zooming your uh, company commander, if I go down Overlord takes over, then Herbie, then Headshot, and then your PSGs are in command of the mission. Channels will be per cart, what are your questions? What was the load plan again? Sorry, not the load plan. Now, what? How many of what? Second platoon getting? gets four Mark 19s. That's all Mark 19s and mm -hmm. four M2s. First platoon gets eight M2s. And that's all the 12 vehicles. All the 16 uh, vehicles that are not company. If that makes any sense. And if I read the chart right, yeah. So you should be using like all of your Humvees are arms. Only the utility, the utility Humvees are only for my HQ assets. So my senior medical officer, whatever the fuck, gets a utility Humvee. I get one with my people, and probably one is left behind. There's a me there my medical Humvee. Oh yeah, is that movable? Uh, I it is. So. Okay, yeah, then obviously like the senior medic takes the medical Humvee. Um. Platoon leaders, do you want to brief in-game? That would be fine with me, unless the hind is going to attack our assembly area, which... It will not, only when we're detected in the uh, past red line. Yeah, okay, um, are we fine with in-game platoon briefs then? Um, just before we go in-game, can... Yeah. Who's the other platoon commander? Headshot. Headshot. Yep. Headshot, you hit. Yes. Is it okay if I wait at the whole point until your guys are all set up at SPF Sierra before I move in to assault? Just to let you know, that's my plan. Yeah, sure. Um, we'll we'll coordinate, and I'll tell you when I'm set, and then you can maneuver. Yeah. Um, just beforehand, is is does everybody spawn next to their vehicle when we go in, or how how am I grabbing the four Humvees or the four Mark 19s? Because I I don't think I'm gonna spawn next to them. Spawn next well, to Humvees. Company sergeant. 
Okay, so what I'll do is I'll get my... Well, all the Mark 19s are yours, and four M2s. I mean, okay. It should be easy to yeah, yeah, out. okay, I'll run around, rally them all up, I'll yeah, put my that's... platoon somewhere and then figure that out. Okay, I'm good to go. Okay. Now for your regularly scheduled public service announcements. Please remember that G is your grenade key and not for your gear. Please alt-tab back in. These oh, messages look. brought to you by United now Operations. I know what to kill everyone with. Yes, An additional right. message for drivers. Please listen, this one is very important, otherwise you're going to have a very bad day. There is likely to be some desync, so when you're traveling in formation, make sure you have a very good safe distance between you and the vehicle in front. Otherwise, you may find that your vehicle gets destroyed in a flash due to the desync. Please maintain a safe following distance. Do remember, convoy speeds are typically at Q speed. There's no need to be moving fast. Game starts in 5, 4, 3... Delta. Uh, Delta. Holy fucking frame rate. I'm gonna go and sit in the grenade. Uh, Delta. I... Chill out. It appears we have the Mark 19s next to us. If you want, I can just what? deal with vehicles. Right, I can no, coordinate no, with uh, whoever. So everyone just kind of stay where you see hmm? everyone else. Right, so let's go. We have the Mark 19s. I can uh, sort us out. With yeah, we're not taking the Mark 19s. I know. I'm just telling you. If you want to deal with a squad, deal with organization, I'll deal with the vehicles to get this sorted out. I got, I'm going to deal with it. I, I'm just going to assign like an MG team and the cargo staff team into one. And... An MG team and a cargo stuff cool. in the second place. Nice. Okay. That's right. right. All of one free, yep. gather around. Yeah, yeah. can't put input. I can put your section briefing quick. Two heat, two cool. DP. I think I'm with you. Cool, cool. Okay, just before we go to our group, we're going to have two fire teams. Charlie fire team is going to be led by Foxy. That's going to be with Flying Spaghetti Monster, cool. Dia, and Tashisky. Assistance, we have uh, from grenades now. Who's our MG assistance? Uh, you never save from grenades. Included in Delta will be Tris. MG would be the guys with AT Force. Uh, we're one for the assistance. Uh, AG assistance are with AT Force. Everyone happy? Sure. Okay. Right. The MG assistance and the lower weapons that we had on 5.6 points. I need you all on um, channel 4, yeah. since we're weapons, we're first click. I need and you on the, on the platoon brief on her. Alright, moving. What's the default key to open up your radio? Uh, control all caps. Control all caps. Yeah. Nice. Checking in on long range 3. You tell him how to rebound. Guys, platoon brief, platoon brief. Come on, come on, Zeno, 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 come
Yes. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, JB, are you here? Yes. Mixed rate. Yep. Edwards. Yeah. Delta. Yep. God hand. Okay, let's begin. Security row group and all that shit. Fuck that. Uh, task organization. One section. You are my initial fire support section. One four, you are also initial fire support section. One three, you are initial reserving se reserve section. And one two, you are my initial assault section. Situation on enemy forces is as per the company briefing. But our first objective is going to be in objective sims, which is just an LPLP of enemy. So, small amount. 1 6 Romeo, checking in. Okay. Uh, they're located in Objective Sims, which is in that little uh, green area. Weapons likely to be uh, small arms and machine guns, but they do also have MI 24s on call uh, on standby, so we have to look out for them. Equipment, I'm guessing that they've got uh, nods and also no obstacles. Defensive fires, we don't know about any enemy defensive fires. Air threat, they have MI-24Vs on standby. Morale is high, they have no CBRN, and their intention is to... Uh, their future intention is to hold their position and kill us. Situation enemy forces, uh, rolling friendly forces. To our left, we're going to have two platoon at SPF Sierra. They're going to be fighting fire support onto objective sims. There's also going to be the company CCP on the right-hand side of their position, near where our whole position is. We're going to be moving with these friendly forces to the attack position, and this briefing will deal with what we do from the attack position to uh, reorging. So the scheme of manoeuvre for our 1-up is 2 platoon is going to be an SPF Sierra, fighting fire support. Company command is going to be just behind them in a CCP, and we're going to be going right flanking and destroying objective sims. We have uh, no indirect fire support. We have direct fire support from two platoon. Our mission is to destroy objective sims, uh, the enemy objective sims, in order to allow friendly forces to attack to uh, advance to objective Willis. Friendly for uh, we are to destroy enemy forces in objective sims in order to allow us to attack objective Willis. Execution: My intent, intent is to destroy the enemy objective sims by going right flanking through the trees and launching a platoon attack. One six Romeo. My scheme of manoeuvre, we, when we move out, every hum, uh, squad will be taking two M2 Humvees. Command will be fitting them where they can. I want myself and Josh to be near the front, God Hand and Kazu, you guys to be near the back. But I'm guessing we're just going to have to fit in where we can. Uh, yep, so the scheme of manoeuvre, we're going to follow all the CPs, get to the attack position, and then when we break off, we're going to be heading straight right to the one platoon hold position. <coughs> Once we're at that hold position, we're going to wait until two platoon are in position to... Uh, cover us as we cross that little patch of open ground then we're all going to move into that little clearing and dismount yeah you have three utility humvees hqs can use their own okay cool we'll use the utility humvees order march we one one followed by command followed by one two followed by weapons followed by one three once you get to that dismount marker one four you have to keep your n2 humvees and move them up to your fire support position uh, as well as using your obviously your machine guns. Everyone else will move on foot, right flanking, uh, following the tree line. We'll drop one one off at their fire support position and one three at the reserve position. Throughout all of this, we're going to be weapons green, so we're going to be firing as soon as we can see the enemy. Myself and one two will then go forward, assault objective sims, and destroy the enemy within it, using one three to support us if need be. Main effort is going to be destruction of the enemy objective sims, and that lies with one two. So on missions, 1-1, one, you are to fix the enemy in objective sims in order to allow 1-2 to attack. 1-2, uh, you are to destroy the enemy in objective sims in order to complete the objective. 1-3, you are to be held in reserve. Be prepared to support 1-2's attack, uh, provide more fire support or help extract casualties. 1-4, you are to fix the enemy in objective sims. Coordinating instructions. Timings, we're going to be heading off as soon as we're ready. Uh, and then the timings will depend on when 2 platoon is in position, so we're just going to be having to wait for them. Preliminary movement is going to be via Humvees. Actions on a Humvee being disabled. Uh, we're going to pick up the guys in the utility Humvees if we can, and continue movement. Actions on ambush, return fire with the M2s and keep moving. Control measures, our line of department is where we are now. Departure, where we are now, sorry. 
Report lines. Report line is going to be the attack position. I want everyone to report when they're there. One between hold, one between dismount, and then when everyone is in their uh, fire support reserve or assault positions. Axis of advance is going to be towards the northwest. Uh, rate of advance, we're going to be moving slowly uh, because of all the desync issues while we're in the Humvees, and then when we're on foot, we're going to be jogging through the trees. Method of movement is primarily, primarily by Humvees up to the dismount, and then when we dismount, it will be by Humvee. We will not bypass any enemy units. Limit of advance is going to be the north side of objective sims. Limit of exploitation for one tree's assault is going to be the west side of the trees. Fire plan, we have no fire, fire plan. Flank security to our left is going to be conducted by two platoon. To our right is open, so make sure you've got guys covering the right flank, especially one three. Deception, got no deception plan. Actions on any effective enemy fire before we're in position. Return fire, form a line, and await my QBOs. Actions on PWs, pass them to the platoon sergeant. Actions on civ pop, ignore them. Uh, actions on being gassed, die because you don't have any gas masks. Okay, so for a quick summary of the execution, we're going to move in order of march 1 1, HQ 1 2, weapons 1 3, in the Humvees up to attack position, and then breaking off to 1 platoon hold. Once we're at 1 platoon hold, we're going to wait for 2 platoon to get in their position and start shooting at the enemy. Quickly cross the open ground to 1 platoon dismount. Everyone apart from weapons will dismount. Weapons will try and push north using the road or the trees, it's up to you. I'd recommend using the trees because they might have things that could blow you up. Uh, to one four fire support and start shooting at objective sims. Everyone else will move up on foot, round following the trees to one one fire support and one two assault to put carry out their missions. One one fire fire support, one three being reserve, one two will assault and fucking destroy the enemy. After that, we'll reorg at objective sims. One four will bring up the Humvees, everyone's Humvees, if they can. If not, we'll send one three back, or one one if one three's been committed. Service support, SOP variations none. Vehicle loading, everyone's got two Humvees. Command is going to take two of the utility Humvees, we'll leave one behind. So one uh, of the utility Humvees will have uh, myself and Josh, the other one, God Hand and Kazu. Yeah. It's three in total, so HQ, one for platoon, one for one, the one for two, platoon. Alright, okay, we'll all be in the same one. Uh, medical will be down to God Hand, who will give a quick overview of what we're going to do when I'm finished. Uh, Logistical support, no replenishment. Command and signals as per the card. Uh, chain of command will be myself, follow up procedure sergeant, then one section, two section, three section, and four section. Are there any questions on my part of the briefing? I have an alternative to what we could, how we could deal with the vehicles. Uh, when I have motorized infantry, we would usually relieve a rifleman per vehicle and the two I see chilling out there with them and then bring up the vehicles as, uh, as the platoon needed them again. But it's probably easier to do it uh, this way. Okay, that's one. Where's two? Hmm. Well, the question is how you want to bring up the package. Pick up all the vehicles. Yeah, you, we were going to use us to bring it up. Yeah, well, one, two, uh, I'd probably not I mean, even do one, that. One, four could bring up all the Humvees. Hey right, guys, just quiet down for a sec. Um, so you mean like take a rifleman from each squad, basically? Yeah, that would be both uh, from both fire teams instead of two, uh, two yeah. cars per uh, squad. But yeah, that's how you you'd normally do it. But I don't know what you want to do. If you want to do it this way, that's fine. Okay, no, because we've got the reserve section. If we don't commit them, we can just send them back. Them back. If not, you're fairly close to them. In fact, you know, you're 300 meters away from now. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. So everyone leave a rifleman behind with each Humvee. God Hand and Kazu, you're going to stay behind at the dismount. Roger. Okay. Uh, you want to quickly go Roger. over formation, the convoy formations? and Convoy formation will be in file. Yeah, well, like herringbone no or anything, or no? Well, if we halt, you go into herringbone. Yeah, can you explain that to people? Question. Uh, okay, front vehicle turn left, second vehicle right, next one left, next one right, next one left, next one right. Go a couple of meters off the road and then stop. Everyone happy with her and bone? Got it. Okay, God Hand, do you want to quick give a really quick overview of casualties and what to do that if that happens? Please. Well, since uh, we're so spread out, casualties will have to be dealt with in a way that um, sections try to contain their casualty, meaning that when, when the firefight first, you start uh, treating within the section when you've got uh, either one the firefighter gotten your uh, your guy into cover 
you uh, if you cannot treat him yourself fully, leave him there with your buddy. I'll try and come up uh, to the uh, to the medic with the medic and fucking uh, help out. But make sure it's fucking covered before, as so we don't uh, don't risk up losing me and the medic on that. And if you get we get this uh, fucking mass casualty situation going, um, again try and pull yourself into some sort of cover if you can't win the firefight. And then I'll try and get company uh, the company medics up and help out with the situation. If we need as well, if one three haven't been committed, we can use them to extract casualties back to Kazu. Do not move to the FUP. Move to the yeah, one three. Do not cross the start. Yep. One. Well, we're mo moving that dismount point. It's it's pointless to cross that linear danger area when we completely avoid it. There's an open field just to the east of it. Whereby, if we drive on that, get up there, just quick fucking marking on the map. So no doubt. Dismount right there. We don't have to sit behind the second platoon and wait for them to get into position so they can go. It's before we cross a danger area. Might as well completely avoid it and then we'll probably be able to carry up the assault quicker. Plus, we'll be mm. dismounting in safety. And I agree too. Okay, so, hey Josh. Yep. Can you put a request to company that we break off from CP at uh, CP one to go to the DSM marker that I'll replace with the one platoon hold marker? Break off a CP one uh, to the DSM marker. Yep, which will be the one platoon dismount. Zero six one six message over. One two. Because I don't want to go all the way up to the attack position just to come back and turn around. 0616 requesting that once we reach CP1, one platoon breaks off and moves to mark a DSM. How copy up? What was that? Yeah, I'm Herbie just wondering. Uh, go Viking. Uh, movement from here to uh, the ESP. 0616 yep. requesting that once we hit mark a C CP1, one platoon breaks off and moves to my Where's that key, DSM. I'll copy over. I have no fucking idea where we are either. It would be my other question. We're, we're roughly we're just, one we're five on the, six. We're on the road northwest from Brookvedel, up yep. the MSR. Just by so the. So we'd have to do a UE anyway to get to the SP. One six copy out. He said no. He said no. He said hold what? northeast of CP1 until two platoons got their shit. Uh, he's in position. Directly, Herbie. I'll fucking yeah. down the fort here. If you explain to him, that's the reason why we want to go to the bed, <laughs> yeah. so we don't um, have to wait. Josh, can you ask where he is on the radio and then come with me? 0616, what's your current location, over? T intersection. Hey, got him. I can hear him. Uh, one, two, requesting to take all their uh, men, including the riflemen, to the T intersection up there? Yep. Can we get someone from someone else's section to get our hundreds, or is that possible? It think would be nice. a lot more complicated fucking uh, unfucking ourselves after we uh, what's because we are still assaulting after we've taken sims. Right. If we can keep the fucking vehicles within the, set, the squads, it will be easier reorganizing yeah, everyone. Okay, hold on. Yeah. All right. yeah. Um, I'm just gonna take one too uh, to the uh, west this year. We'll do our squad thing and uh, we'll let you know when we're ready. All right, one two. One two. Uh, let's move on to the west. Move. <laughs> About 100 meters, less than that, 50 meters 100. or so. Alright, one three, let's go. Charlie followed by Dale and a corn. Let's go back to our vehicles. We should probably find out which vehicles we can take. Okay, so uh, four. We're gonna yep. have the assistance as my drivers and gunners, basically. So, uh, first MG team is Yannick and Peter. Second MG team, Gussie and Sickly. AT team, one. Zeno, Jojo, two, Death Strike, and Slider. So we have we basically have Peter and Sickly in the first Humvee, and Jojo and Slider in the second. And I'll, I'll be in the first Humvee as well. Okay. We need to go find one of the Humvees on them. Basically, once we get to the dismount marker. Uh, he didn't agree to that second dismount marker, did he? No. Okay, no. Not yet. Okay, so... Yeah, well... Basically, we'll put the... Uh, the gunners up front with me dismounted, and we'll scout ahead for the Humvees. The Humvees will be at the rear of the platform, basically. 
If we go from the DSM marker, we're just going to follow the road uh, with the Hungies because the, there's a lot of uh, forest in between and it's probably pretty dense, knowing Shremlet. If we go to the first platoon this month, the original, original well, Atlanta no, model, you can just see. The markers have just been updated on the map, so you can see we've got a break-off point now and then two R three RVs before we get to the new uh, yeah. dismount. I guess the guy accepted them. Well, yeah, we'll move along that road to 1-4 fire support. Uh, from there, pretty much the infantry will form up on the left side and the vehicles on the road. Well, that's it. What about risk of enemies having like a BTR facing down that road? Because then we're gonna eat the Which is why you're in the. Down. Which is why you're kept in the rear. For for there's three squads going in front of us, so they'll report anything they see. Yeah. Before we get close to the far support position, so if they do, we'll just hope you. Goes up and mess them up. Alright, let's go find our homies. Jojo, I'll drive. Oh, shit, we yeah. lost somebody. No, it's not one of ours. No? Okay. He's got a 249, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not one of ours. Guess ours are the unarmed one. No, no, that's uh, Platoon HQ. No, that's... Someone yeah. worked on Humvee already. Really? <laughs> Just looking at one of them. I guess they've been there. lined up already. We're in the front one. Driver. Or the, no, we those had... two over here. Hey, we're number two. Yeah, this doesn't matter if we just grab those. Well, those are the company ones at the back. Humvee? This should Sorry, be the utility ones. This should be ours. Let's take those. Alright. Jojo, can the rear ones? Hello. Hi. Where's Jojo? Oh, I'm oh, here. Yes. You need, are you on the gun? If you want to be on the gun, I'll be on the gun. You, yeah, you're supposed to be on the gun. You and I are the vehicle crew. Mm. So yeah, the way the combat works is if you see the vehicle, you just aim opposite side of the vehicle in front of you. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? It's okay, I got my G27, we're good. That doesn't really make me feel a whole lot better. I can actually drive controllably. I remember you said that. Well... Yeah, I just remember the G-Sync. That... The D-Sync, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want a safe distance. Yeah, safety gap. Yeah, no, I, I know that, it's just... Yeah. Did Why you play yesterday? Yes, uh, that, no. Yeah. Not during that. Well, the desync is pretty bad on some of these large missions. So. Like, well, really, really it, bad. It was kind of bad on the last mission we did, too, like, when we, when we were on Bloop. We're doing up DVT and I'll pull for a side when we're moving out. We kind of had on a kind of desync a car crashing into the back of the one I was into, and that car exploded. I cannot hear the vehicle engine at all. Me neither. I can hear other vehicles. Uh, you're up in the gun, maybe. Oh, fuck it. Phone call. Uh, right in vehicle chat, dude. Never mind. What the shit? That's nice to see uh, that there's a lot of people coming back, at least. Oh, yeah. I also have to admit that the 
for lower players, the Zeus missions has makes it a lot more interesting. There's extra medical crap in the vehicle. Yeah, I just grabbed a ton of that dead guy. There's a 84, two 84s in the back. Oh, there's a... I'll be right back. I'm grabbing uh, heat if nobody wants it. What, you mean the disposable? Yeah. Watch your weight. Hey, you're, you're my assistant, Darn, so you probably should have watched it. I mean, you're already carrying two rock hey, four rockets for me, so you're probably heavy as is it. Well, uh, the, the bottom the bar says only 50%. I'm assuming yeah, that that's, that's what it goes by. That's pretty heavy, though. So. Oh, okay, then I'll skip it. I mean, I usually, I usually don't go beyond like the suppressor icon, or the hangar. Like, I don't go right of that. But it's up to you. Mm. What does BO light stand for? No clue. Badass lights, of course. Oh no, you're the AR gunner, you're in the back. We're gonna have a suit drive. Somebody with a GP disconnected. Okay, guys, good. Dirty. I understand. No, I'm just. Okay, never mind. You ready for what? Better than me. Yep. I'm getting 20. I do have to say that this new acre sounds sexy as fuck. Can I put you all to shame with 30? With streaming and everything on Ultra? Yeah, well, the graphical options don't really matter all that much in the end. Well, uh, technically, I am recording, but like with uh, Shadow Play. So it doesn't really matter. How, uh, how are you technically recording? You are either recording or you're not. I mean, like if you're using recording software. Uh, normal oh, software, God. you would uh, cut the frames by 50%. So, since Not I'm using Shadow. Necessarily. Yeah, usually. It, takes it, to re... it really depends on the code code that the recording software is using. Well, the, the point is though that the, the Shadow Play uses the 3D cards unlike other softwares, so it is not a, that a big performance at. So when you usually say you're recording, people are expecting, oh, so you have like a 25 to 50 percent reduction in frames because there's of that. A lot, there's a lot of those. There's a lot of codecs available for DX to read that out to our Steam processing over to the graphics card itself. We're passing for it. Well, I don't have them. I have Shadowplay and DX Story, but uh, I, there's no way I can run the DX Story uh, the way I am like, compared to Shadowplay. The thing about the story is that you really need to just learn how to set it right. Uh, say again, set what to write? I said the thing about the story is that you really just need to figure out how to set it properly for what you want. Yeah. The downside from it, oh. just had all play from what I can tell is that you don't get as much options as far as uh, compression rates go. Also, your ass is like right in my goddamn face. Uh, Fuck this one that joins up the home league. Yeah, real <laughs> friendly. What do we... You don't know what real friendly is if this is your definition of friendly. I like, like... that we have working mirrors in, the, in here now. I'm really liking that. 
this one time on an exercise we had like uh, a five minute marching order or, or like no it was 60 seconds or something something insane so it was like 20 minus and the only thing we had was like uh, the tents and nothing else so we basically were laying on top of each other just keep warm yeah <laughs> i can see so that was that was cool. Set up, you... it's Durga. Durga's oh, my FPS again. Oh, better now. Oh, we're back. We're back. Um, I'm not. My FPS is back down to 20. Fuck. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh. For for Ooh. Rusak and you, are you? It's from. Arma tree is the main reason I'm considering are upgrading you, me? my processor. Georgia? I'm from Norway. What are you ready uh, at the moment? What was what that? Process, what processor are you running at the moment? Uh, it's an older i5. It's not. It's clock and lock too, so I can't even overclock it. I've been got it considering even buying, getting the newer i7 that they released with a 1150 socket. Well, it's generally at the moment it's clock speeds you want to get. On the wrong road. Only really makes use of two core. Yeah, that's the problem. Speed. Yeah, that's the problem usually. We should have taken a left back there. Did we take the wrong turn? Oh, wait, no, we have uh, taken no, the wrong good. turn. Like the thing with We're heading towards Schwemlitz. Yeah, like the thing with Armour 3 is just turn? that it's not... We well, took a wrong turn. We're going towards Schwemlitz here. Uh, they're turning on the next road now. Less. <laughs> uh, actually, no disregard. We might be taking a different way because we can get to RV1 from here. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to take the second left. No, we're, yeah, we're going the right direction, basically. The they're not left. crossing over at CP. Hey, there's now. a guy just... running... running after the armies. <laughs> like, whoever took the, they need the last time we need to stop. Oh god, okay, damn it. can't do anything. Don't worry about it. Too many people on the move. Okay, but yeah, so like, they're, they're turning left to everyone. Yeah, like I was saying, the problem with Armored Tree Sands is that it's not very well optimized for multi threading. No, so that's the biggest thing. That's why I don't, got an i5, because I paid a hundred bucks less. Though to be fair, multi threading in itself is kind of black magic on its own, so it's not a lot of people are able to optimize their graphical lenses for it. I, I got a i7 47070, and uh, I'm getting a 20. Uh, it's between around 20 frames now. Well, yeah, I'm on the uh, top i5, over, not clocked it though. It's still at the uh, 3.2, I think, in this stop clock. And it's 23 for me. 4670? Okay. Yeah, uh, it's yes, 4670k. I'm running the same one and I'm running at 30 frames with a GTX. Okay, have you overclocked it though? Yes. That's why I haven't overclocked it. And then it's running at 3.4. What's your overclock? 4.4. That's why then. Yeah. But uh, it is. Uh, yeah, but it's technically only 500 megahertz more. It's like 20%. Yeah. But that at least that's taken in from I'm currently getting 24 25 he'll probably get up to like you know like you say 30, 30s. 30 30 he's like, probably, I look at the ground I get 37 and I look to the left 22 but yeah that's right I'm that's, also streaming right now and that's a pretty intense I want to which what are you using to stream OBS OBS that mm -hmm. aren't that intensive no it's not but in armor 3 it's noticeable I yeah bet. Have you tried right. it without OBS in this sort of environment? Say again? Have you tried it without OBS in this sort of environment? Uh, no, I can just stop the stream for a minute and I can see. Yeah, just try that, see what it's like. Yeah, next it's probably, stop. It's probably next, a newer i5 actually. It's just at the moment we're trying to... Jay is looking into the multiplayer issues that we had, because obviously uh, the Armour 2 Islands and even White Schwemmel is using Armour 2 assets they're all going to be a lot more intensive than the default Armour 3 Islands at the moment. Yeah. So what you're saying is that they're not hand they're not handling the engine is not handling them as well as it is it's all it's so, no it's not the engine it's something VI did apparently to try and counteract uh, crashes on these maps. I see. And that was the only inclusion it was we have is from all the last few patches that. Um, they changed something on older maps to hopefully help improve stability. Harry Will. Off to the Three. left side, the other guy pulled. Three. Three. Whoa. Oh. 
Uh, forward two meters. Forward two meters. All right here. Don't want to go too far. Oh, yeah. Very I just, want, just don't want a tree next to my gun. Yeah, so far it's two culprits are RHS because they don't have the best uh, resolution LODs at the moment. I mean, the Humvee has no resolution LODs. The weapons apparently do have resolution LODs, but they're not as low as they could be. Right, I'm gonna pretend I have some kind of idea what the fuck any of that uh, meant. You know, basically, you've ever seen with some of the armor models, they'll get, they'll be less detailed at distance further they are from you. Right. Those are resolution LODs, and you have to make them when you actually make, you know, the mod that you're doing. So, say for this Humvee, you basically remove details from it the further away it is, and that's done in stages which are resolution LODs. I see. And the it basically, basically means that it basically means that they've been lazy, and it costs. Uh, yes, each it's always rendering in full detail. Yeah. Yes, it's even though it's fucking insane. The moment, because of how the armor free is handling AI and objects, which includes vehicles, it's always rendering every object and every AI. So even, though we don't see, even if they're on the other side of the island, if it's even if they're regardless of distance. Yeah. And, and considering they are coders and uh, they know all this, so it's like super lazy. It's like they've they've we sort are. of fucked people in the ass. On so basically, what they've done has resulted just, in pretty much everything, note. everywhere being rendered at the same fucking time. We're about 750 well, meters not from within your object range. Yes, 750 not meters the from map this place. Ugh. Can you imagine, like? If the universe is being run by like a computer, like how much processing power you need? I don't you want know to the think sun. about that. We need quantum processing. You, you know the sun? There you go. So yeah, like, there's so uh, fusion. So fusion processor. <laughs> but a quantum processor isn't like it's it's super fast compared to today. But if we're talking about simulating reality, I, I don't think it's enough. Not, nothing will reach. There's just too many variables that you can't. Uh, like the 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 amount of faster yeah. CPUs we can have, it would have to be organic. No. Yeah, you have to change the way programming works. That's the only way you can uh, make it. Because like the human brain, we're we're close to surpassing uh, how fast the human brain is. But the human brain works in a, like a super, super multitasking way. And the computer does everything in linear, one way, yes, no kind of thing. And that's how it's limited. The human brain kind of works. It's gone too this philosophical here. I'm so quantum sorry. computers, you have like a maybe option? Yes, no, maybe. Or that's all it does. It's just a yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. If, else, or uh, and stuff or. like that. Like yeah. in a root level, it's Door. basically just a series of ones and zeros. But the quantum, yeah. the quantum physics is that it has a maybe, right? Oh, it's a yes, no, and both. No quantum. Com yes, no, no, this that's that's the thing. When we're talking about quantum computing, what limits it? It's, uh, it's basically that they're, they're using the same program language. You know, guys, I think this. Okay, I'll take the six o'clock, I guess. I think yeah, this conversation. I think this conversation might be getting a little bit too, a little bit too. One four has stopped. Well, considering we're talking about how broken on free is at the moment, it's something <laughs> turned that philosophical. Yeah, but basically, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Like the quantum computing thing, it still uses uh, ones and zeros, so there's still programming in regards to yes/no question. Apparently we're That's what the circle of the Humvees from what I heard on the radio. Yeah, and this, this Humvee on our front is not ours, but the other one is kind of randomly sitting there right now. So, Delta, you face 115, and we'll face, uh, whatever, right of you. 270. Well, we're the only no, no, one no, no, facing no, not 270. 270. We're the only one uh, facing it, but whatever. There's Humvees behind us. We got the southeast sector, I think. Oh shit, you can open up the back of the Humvee, that's cool. Yeah, you can. I'll just go right of him. 
Oh. Ja. Frame See what we should do here is form a league. You want your set up your position for uh, guards and gonna stay in with just not. Alright. I mean it's yeah no. Uh, you guys are spelled, I think. Jumping out. Gunner stay in. Roger. I mean, technically, we should be looking for what's in this case. It's actually not that bad. You may want to put the uh, MG over to f towards the front. I'm going to have it right here, in just in case we get contact north. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't want to shoot over. Oh, yeah. You know what? Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to shoot towards the rear. I'll just stand by the fucking yeah, right here. Driver seat. Now we will that Already lost one man standing flank here, pretty tough out here. I'm gonna have to talk to Herbie after this. I don't get the bipods in, in this mm -hmm. HS. The it's gun is bouncing bounded. so much with a bipod on. Hey, shouldn't. It's like bouncing all over the place. It shouldn't be bouncing. Mm, I'm resting my weapon and it's not bouncing. Yeah, mine's fine too. There. Yeah, it's still bouncing. Even if I hold it still for like 10 seconds, it's still bouncing. The 240B. That's weird. Yeah. Oh right, you mean the actual weapon sway, not the bounce. Oh yeah, it's still gonna sway. Yeah, it's... It's basically all it's doing is giving you the prone weapon values. So you... whilst you're prone, it really doesn't do much. Yeah, if I undeploy, it bounces the same amount than if I deploy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's giving you the prone values for the weapon. Right, it shouldn't do that. That's, That's why it's only effective in crowd. In what? Oh, what were we talking about uh, when I stopped? Oh, yeah, stop. Uh, so I'm getting 34 or 5 frames. When I'm streaming, I'm AI, it's about 5, frame, five frames down. Hmm. Slider, I'm just gonna go nip to Herbie a second. I need to give him some grief. Okay. This looks tactical as fuck, I gotta say. Oh, you close the lid. Because of the mountains. Like the desert. It's not the fucking desert in Utah. Okay. Salt yep, Lake. Yep. Fucking. Yeah. 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 Anything knowing this community? Okay, I gotta go pick up my laundry, so I'll just sit in the back uh, until I come back. Yeah, don't worry, man. You're in the back before making it. Okay, uh, somebody else will have to drive for it in case we move in the next couple of minutes.
What's happening? Hey, you guys can hear me, right? Okay, weapons change of plans, we're moving uh, to the point of the formation. Uh, let me have my dismounts uh, regroup. I mean, you're the platoon lead in the center. And uh, I need, Yannick, I need you to dismount. You're coming with us, dismounted. And I need to uh, have these form up on the road. There's no driver, only a gunner. Over. The driver when you get laundry. Well, the gunner needs to switch to driver's seat so we don't leave it behind. Roger.
We can use the North Forest line once we put it in possession if it's safe and then just back into the forest. Hey, you back, dude? I can see you. Oh, it's just idle animation. Never mind. Driver of the second Humvee, go ahead and uh, hop into the gun while we don't have to move. Yeah, already on it. Okay, Humvees, you are clear to follow the road, but move up. The BTR has been disabled. Are we just continuing north along the road, or do you want us to take this uh, a right at the intersection? No, not the right, the left. You're going to a one for a fire support with the rest of our squad. You'll see an open field in front of you, and there's uh, a road just uh, securing the tree line. I want you on that one. Okay, don't drive too far though, homie. We'll need you up. Are we green? Over. I'm back. I'm back. Right, what's, um, what's happening? I'm with off our right side in the tree line. Wait, I might, I might see something. I don't, I don't know. Hey, I'm, I'm back. Uh, nice slider. Far hey. left side of tree line at uh, 307, 307. Uh, What is our weapon status? Is it uh, green or yellow? Over. Uh, just, can you just kick me? Our weapon's friend, green throughout this entire operation, as Herbie said. No, I'm switching to HEDP round. Oh shit, a BTR. <laughs> who's on my Fucking who's well, on the other guy has a heat round. Hot mic, somebody's hot miking. Somebody's hot miking. He's hot miking. They stopped. Can I put mm. some rounds into this like rock kind of grassy area? I see like a leg sticking out of it. Well, I got a rock. What? Which rock you're talking about? Uh, three, three zero seven. Rock. At God damn it, some... 
some piece of shit turned off my the dryer in the laundry room. So all my shit's now wet for my work. That sucks. is moving into the forest from our top right now. <coughs> yeah, like the the leg I'm saying. I don't know if it's a leg. But this is four. Uh, no targets have been spotted yet, so I'm not playing any far. So like that leg is, I guess like. Uh, no, I have seen. seen assaulting on the right side of the trees. Holy fire! Okay. Eyes on friendlies. Walk it up. Engaging the UAZ. I'm engaging the UAZ. Do you have a contact? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, fucking come That that sound is so annoying. That's someone's they fucked up their Pete CBA buying, that's what's happening. Someone, someone decided to turn off my dryer while my laundry was still in there. Now all my shit is wet. <laughs> Dicks. And I had, oh, I had to go to work. You, you just reminded me I forgot to take out the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I hate fucking North American lack of standard where they ha have public fucking dryer washers and dryers. A whole building using three washers and dryers. We're talking like a seven-story building with. Man, in Norway, my 13-story building had like 30 washers and dryers. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you like uh, that would be what? Uh, uh, the amount of people the size of a normal family using washer and dryer, right? I get that, but not three on a... What, seven times eight is what, 42? Well, we were third... No, no. What am I 11 saying? 11 times 16 with 30 washers and dryers total. Yeah, that's that's a much better ratio than yeah. 42 and 3. We have 10 apartments, which you would have 2 or 3 or 4 people each. Average usually 2. Yeah. Fucking okay, bullshit. Dude, so this apartment costs me... Rent is what? 12... 1250 to 150 bucks. The previous apartment, same size. He had a washer and dryer. He was close to 1800. Wait, hold on. You only you only paid 250 bucks for your apartment? 1200. Oh Jesus! What? Jesus! What do you yeah, like? that's that's low, Toronto. That's huh. low. I paid like 600, and that's in fucking Oslo, Norway, one of the most expensive places you can live. Yeah, Europe is I'm, much cheaper in that respect. I'm, it's much better. I'm, I'm paying 450. Yes, because Europe is generally much cheaper and much and better in that aspect. And North American also, standards are fucking bullshit. That's. I should also note that that's like for the uh, uh, living support that I get from the government. You know how much is how much is student accommodation over there? Mmm, it goes. It might actually go below the what I'm paying right now for my apartment. Like roughly. One for Rod. Uh, well, after gentlemen, we're bounding up the Humvees. Bounding. Oh, 
Oh snap. What? Hind, ETA, 20 mines. It's over here, on the right. Okay, you drove again. You hid yourself very well. I wasn't even me driving. <laughs> <laughs> he was hiding in the back. Even yeah. more hidden. <laughs> uh, we're okay, missing. we're moving through the shield, northwest, to the other green line. Let's go ahead and cross. Hey, who's uh, streaming in this vehicle? I am Slider. Oh, okay. You're, you're, are you uh, a black guy? I don't know. I'm assuming not. Just, uh, <laughs> I, I personally, I'm not black. No, oh, wait, because there's another. Uh, there's another guy on Twitch so. that's streaming, and uh, he's black. I was like surprised why. It's Slider CDN. That's what he's really. Keep the Humvees behind the uh, Run this front. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep it behind them. Anyone know who they are? Are they 1 3 or. Uh, they might be. So let me jump out at the edge of the tree line. You want to jump out? Yeah, I don't want to stay in a vehicle through a tree line. Once you reach this, uh, this mound, get out, uh, I'm just gonna hold him inside. Whoa! There you go. Yeah. Okay. And then we Oh, I'm Yeah, I just, I was surprised there was more than one guy streaming, so it's like, is, is this him? <laughs> but he's, he's got a webcam, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, otherwise uh, I wouldn't know he was black. Uh, oh. Okay, we're taking the right side of the one. You want us to bring up the vehicles too? Not yet, let me work in the area first. Don't worry, we'll get shot by the hind. <laughs> The, the probably the only thing you hear is like, I'm dead. So how many viewers do you have right now? I'm just curious. Oh, none. I I usually don't stream Armor 3, so a couple of people showed up, sent a few messages, and then they left. Because I usually stream my yeah. racing. I do car racing. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, the other guy has like 10 viewers. Oh, what's his username? A kill streep or something like that. Wait, wait one moment. I don't know who that is. Is it on the server? Uh, I just had to tell you. Kept Secret is his kept Twitch name. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's oh, his yeah, uh, nickname. Oh yeah, that's his player uh, gaming. Contact North, burn 40, tree line, 200 meters, open fire. We clear to move the Humvees. Yeah, Kept Secret is. Uh, He's a player here. Oh, yeah. Delta. Yes. Bring over the victors or not yet? 
Not yet, the Victors are holding behind the tree line together with all the other Victors on the five command. Oh, okay. Uh, the other Victors are not holding behind us. Oh. Yeah, I uh, know. Just make sure you maneuver your uh, Mark 19s and stuff close okay. in, because uh, they are the big firepower, uh, yeah, but keep them a little bit, down little down bit down in the rear. This is 1 4. Stalin. Say again? 1 4 Victor, this one is the one behind you. Okay. Hello. Yeah, 5 meters left of previous target under the tree. Uh, Delta, you have a uh, friendly advancing on your right now. Up to your line, it seems. Watch and shoot. Hey, you said someone about something about guys on the right side? You have friendlies advancing on your right. I don't know how far they will advance, but just FYI. I'm supposed to know as soon as I see second platoon, so do you know that it could be second platoon? So, I opened that trunk and uh, the hydraulics for the trunk. The model itself stretches, so you see the texture stretch on it, it's pretty oh. funny. <laughs> I guess it's a limitation. Or laziness. Well, I mean, if you've take, uh, if you do you own a take on helicopters? I don't. Well, they have a lot of uh, opening helicopter doors and all that kind of stuff, as well as uh, um, interactive panels, like you have in flight sims and stuff like that. I think it's the same uh, engine as this, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a modified one. It's like the advanced flight mechanics in Arma 3 comes from that game. Yeah. But in the other game they also had like elaborate um, startup mechanics and stuff like that. Yeah. But my point was just that the opening doors and all that kind of stuff, there shouldn't be limitation. But maybe it's because of the... It's supposed to be... Uh, I'm not sure, is, is it uh, a hard top? On the back? Wait. Uh, yeah. Hmm, well. Then I don't know, because it shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> I was just thinking if they were simulating that it was like cloth or something. What do you mean? Like, bullet like, like cloth. No, no, I mean like, uh, uh, like a tent. Material, the like clothes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the like a sail. Delta or... Death Strike eyes on green tracks is coming from objective Freeman towards uh, two for two. I think uh, Company HQ vehicle has the soft up. Oh. Uh, I think I don't know. I yeah. Either that or it's a medical vehicle or something. This one is the just one like a plastic. Yeah, I need the Humvees on my right side. Just follow the road from TRP Romeo One up. Roger, moving. Hey, watch out for friendly yep, slider. Yep. There should be a friendly foot fo fo foot on the. Yep. Yeah. Stop! 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 Oh. Don't worry, I see them. I see some bunkers, I don't see much else. Engine off. Okay, what was that about the green tracers? Where did you see them? High dive on enemy green tracers from objective green men towards the team. Hey, I'll go get the second one. Do we have any friendlies that have uh, advanced? Like, or 
all enemies to the north. North? Yes. Yes, we have friendlies, or yes, we only have enemies? Only enemies to the north. Friendly platoon is still full. They should be bounding over to our eastern side and following the northeastern tree line in a while, but that's not big. Hey, two vector, where where are you? Both victors are just to the right of uh, spot eight. What about that air? Our victor is at the far right end of the line. Uh, okay. That's that's you guys. Yeah, this is us. Okay, so I need space reports from all of you. Is that one of you guys engaging? Yeah, it's me. I think I see movement uh, around the tree behind there. Over. I can follow a tree. Yeah, the other guys with optics say there's nothing there. No, roger that. I don't see anything. Yeah, that. How much ammo? How much ammo in total? Or the two zombies on that one? I have uh, 400 rounds. Or, no, 300. Is covered, there's a lot of friendlies to our rear. Uh, just behind us, that are cover. Okay. There's a uh, Mark 19. Is that Mark 19 your line of sight? Hey! They just crashed into a tree. Oh, that's they good. Oh. Far right of the right Humvee, behind the stone wall, right side of the stone wall. Hit, hit. Okay, she's fired. Target fire, no. target fire. Target fire. They got a casualty. What the De hell is Delta, they somebody's doing, down. Dude. Um, hmm? Who's down? Somebody over there, over there. <laughs> oh, no. oh shit! That was a balls that. assault, man. Just drove it. That what yeah, was that? Holy shit! <laughs> that was. They lost their guys. That was ballsy as fuck. <laughs> well, we took it. Oh shit! What the? There's more coming. Holy crap! Is that two platoon? They're going ham. <laughs> yeah, that must be two platoon. <laughs> yeah, that must be two platoon because of the two Mark 19s. I thought we're using DOA yellow. Yeah, they're not really. <laughs> the hatch is open. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that is just balls. I want to fall like that. We should take that tree line. Line up.